Greetings and much blessings. So what's your choosing signal? In the wild, sometimes it's called pheromone. What is your scent? What are you letting off? Are you marking your territory? Are you trying to send a message? Are you using echolocation? What is it? You know, a lot of this can be explained through telepathy. There are also forms of telekinesis. You know, telepathy is just mainly a form of communication. A lot of it is based on a lot of non-signals or verbal expressions. That's kind of what you get with telepathy. Now, telekinesis, it's the movement of objects or things without a lot of physical intervention. Um, some of it is verbal. I mean, you can see that in scripture where it says to the mountain says you speak to the mountain and you say that uh, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea about you having faith to move mountains this is a form of telekinesis okay now telepathy I can relate to this because I've had many long lost loves that I've been able to communicate with non-verbally and non-physically just in essence of you thinking about an individual that's where a lot of the telepathy comes into play because you might see the person again and be like, oh, wow, I was just thinking about you. Well, that's the telepathy part because you weren't just thinking about the person. You were subconsciously communicating with that person. Keep that in mind. And so, of course, over time, as I got over, uh, as, as, as well, we could say that too. <laughs> so over time, as I got over an ex upon me getting older, I stopped doing this telepathy with them. You know, I want to reach out to those that really love me, not those that don't love me. But I do see the power in the telepathy of being able to communicate with somebody that you truly love and you do think about them. You're just trying to communicate to them that you miss them and you would like them back in your life and you wish that, you wish that things hadn't turned out the way that they did. We do this all the time. We just need to learn how to be more telepathic amongst those that love us versus the ones that don't. Now, telekinesis, let's get back to that. It's time to start using your faith. This is how you do the telekinesis. But in a simple form, I don't know about you all, but there have been times where a lot of this telekinesis can be explained kinetically, like when you're driving. Let's say you want to get around another vehicle, right? And you know you have it on cruise control at a certain speed, but somehow in your mind, you think that you're able to actually have the car get around your car get around that other person's car, right? And this is without you even adjusting <laughs> the speed limit on your uh, cruise control. Now, of course, you talk to a physicist, they can say, well, that has a lot to do with the grade and the slope of the road and the traction of the tires and the weight of the vehicle that determines the momentum. And that could have been why you were able to get around that other vehicle at that particular moment. But would it be such a far-fetched idea that maybe some of your thoughts also helped you get around that other vehicle at that very moment? Y'all stay blessed.